I'm saying this to you, son, as you lie asleep, one little paw under your cheek, and the curls of your hair on your damp forehead. I have stolen into your room alone. Just a few minutes ago, as I was reading the newspaper in the library, a stifling wave of remorse swept over me, and full of guilt, I came by your bedside. There are things I was thinking, son. I had been cross to you. I scolded you when you were dressing for your school because you gave your face merely a dab with a towel. I chided you for not cleaning your shoes. I called out loudly when you threw some of your things on the floor. At breakfast too, I found fault, son. Some you spilled things. You gulped down your food. You put your elbows on the table. You spread butter too thick on your bread. And as you started off to play, and I made for my train. You turned and waved a hand and said, "Goodbye, Daddy." And I, I frowned and said in reply, "Hold your shoulders back." Then it began all over again in the late afternoon. As I came up the road, I spied you down on your knees playing marbles. There were holes in your stockings. I humiliated you before your friends by marching you ahead of me to the house. Stockings were expensive, son. And if you had to buy them, you would be more careful. Imagine that, son, from the perspective of a father. Do you remember later when I was reading in the library how you came timidly with a sort of hurt look in your eyes? When I glanced over <coughs> from the paper impatiently at the interruption, I scolded you and asked you, "What do you want?" You said nothing but ran across. Threw your arms round my neck and kissed me good night, and with your arms tightened with an affection that God had set blooming in your heart, and then you were gone, pattering up the stairs. <coughs> well, son, it was shortly afterwards that my paper slipped off from my hands, and a terrible, sickening fear came over me. What habit had been doing to me? The habit of finding faults, of reprimanding. This was my reward to you for being a boy. It is not that I don't love you, but I expect too much from you. I was measuring you by the yardsticks of my own ears. As there was so much good and fine and true in your character, this little heart of yours is as big as the dawn itself over the white hills. This was shown by your spontaneous impulse to rush and kiss good night. Nothing else matters tonight, son. This is a feeble atonement. I know you would not have understood these things had I told you to them during the waking hours. But tomorrow I'll be a real daddy. When you suffer, I'll suffer. When you laugh, I'll laugh. I'll charm with you. I'll bite my tongue when impatient words come. I'll keep saying, as if it was a ritual, he is nothing but a boy. a small boy